This beautiful Edwards Plateau limestone rock bank. Look at that with your Thelosperma right there, a little yellow. Philofolium, see that with the filamentous foliage. Look at all the rock. Look at that. You'd be, you'd be lucky to have this in your goddamn front yard. Look at that Stellingia. It makes you wonder why they're bulldozing it all to build houses for rich douchebags. Rich, unimaginative douchebags. Excuse me. Look, there's Castilea. That's Lindheimeri. Parasitizing the grass. Not hurting it too much, but borrowing a little bit. Tetranurus. Scaposa right there. Little fucking hairy daisy. What is this? Marshalia coming up i can't tell yeah it's marshalia it's another cool it's a composite an asteraceae that's trying to act like an onion god i love this habitat man look at that you gotta fall in love with limestone all over again and all the uh cryptogams that living crust that black stuff is all alive dormant right now comes to life when it gets wet it's just a lichen there's a hedioma a mint it's not in flower right now. Oh, no, you know what? That's a gallium. Excuse me. See that? See them little spiky balls? Ooh. So it's a uh, coffee family, Rubiaceae. Scutellaria. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Fill the hole within yourself. Some people try to do it with booze. Others do it with gambling. All right. Best, most healthy way to do it is with taking a nice run and uh in some uh what they call nature which is just the you know entire rest of the living world around you the humanity most of humanity doesn't appreciate and is so disconnected to not for long though can't act that way for too long our behavior will catch up with this we fail to have reverence for this kind of stuff soon uh we're gonna hit a brick wall you know just like you know any alcoholic they don't change their behavior until they hit rock bottom humanity is gonna hit rock bottom at some point it's kind of have to. We call it a growing pain. It's going to be a big growing pain, but, you know, it's got to happen. Otherwise, because uh, you can't live like this. But let's not talk about that. Let's just look at some, like, fucking plants. Modelea reticulata. Look at this thing. This is a fucking weird flower, too. This is cool. It's a tiny fuck. Like, beautiful Texas persimmon. God, I love this habitat. Look at this. So here we go. Got your opposite leaves. Yeah, auriculate. And uh, there's the little flower. Look at this thing. What pollinates that? Look at the Look, it just looks simple at first, but then you look under there. Oh, what's pollinating that? Tiny gnats? Is it going for fungus gnats? That's so fucking small. And I presume, since it's in Asclepiodoidae, the milkweed subfamily, that it's still got pollinia. Look at how hairy the uh, petals are. Has it got sepals? Or is it just uniceriate? Yeah, it looks like it's got sepals. Yeah, it's got sepals. See that? And those are just the pill. God, that's so weird. Look at that beautiful speckling. Oh, I gotta come back and get a macro shot. You can see a, you can see the hint of nectar. See that glistening shit at the base? God, that's fucking lovely. Fuck me. Ah. There's a bunch of look at that. Look at that. Look. A Texas endemic, Model A reticulata. Oh, this is a special one. Chrysictinia mexicana in the marigold tribe of the sunflower family Asteraceae. And I say it's special because it smells so damn good and it's tough as nails, man. This thing can, I mean, look, it's growing on, <laughs> it's growing on almost pure limestone. They got a little bit of soil there. Not much, you get a little deeper. But I've seen it just growing out of straight rock walls before, just limestone rock walls. Definitely likes that uh, high pH calcium carbonate substrate, though. Or I don't know if it likes it, but it can tolerate it. The more calcium you get, the less hydrogen you get, the, the more the pH goes up. I wonder what the pH of this soil is. God, it just it smells fucking great. Look at those leaves, too. Look how they got like a little point on them. See that? Baja Kelia, a plant that's in the same tribe that grows in the deserts of Baja, also smells amazing because it's got those terpenes and volatiles coming off the leaf foliage right there. Coming off the foliage, see it? Oh, God, it smells lemony. It's so pleasant. You could probably make a tea out of it or something. There's probably some sweet Mexican granny that makes tea out of this somewhere, you know? But you got to be careful because some of the members that ask their AC, uh, you know, they'll make you puke if you have too much. I don't think they'll kill you, but they're, they're just definitely a stomach upset. Well, that's a cool secondary chemistry in this family, Asteraceae. You got those sesquiterpene lactones. You know, what kind of sick f would see all this land and say... I've got to clear half of it. I mean, they're going to eventually clear all of it, but 
beautiful Edwards Plateau. Ash Juniper, Melon Podium going off down there. Thelosperma, Vitus, Stillingia right there. So much good stuff going on. Just untold riches and just scraped away. Who gives a shit? Like it, it just, it always blows my mind. And plus when you expose that much land to the sun, you just turn that whole area into a heat island. Pavement or not, that land just heats up like just elementary <laughs> physics. Oh, like Roos Virens, that's always a nice one. Elementary physics just escapes people. You'd think you'd want plant cover in a place where it gets 105 degrees for five months out of the year. But, you know, if you're a shit for brain, I guess not. Look at this fucking guy. Look, he's, look, look at those. He's wearing little booties. This European honeybee's got the pollinia from this milkweed. He's knocking up this milkweed. Those little beetles aren't providing any benefit. But this, this little honeybee is just straight up knocking this milkweed up. God, this is such a great species, too. Fuck me. Look at those hoods. This is where the nectar is. So that's what he's going for. He's getting nectar out of those hoods. Those little white, teethy hoods. Look at that beautiful grass. What is that, a wristlet or something? Know, if I cared, I'd look closer. But, you know, I do. Don't get me wrong. But look at the, look at the, what is that, pizzolithus? Nice little, uh, what is mycorrhizal or just saprotrophic. But all that brown stuff's the spores. Oh, well, it's a tainted mindset. It's poisoned. You know, it's unnatural. See, and this ain't even that bad. They take everything. Where I live, they take everything. A little bit further south on the border, they flatten everything. They just have no respect whatsoever. You know, just discard, they just discard the vegetation like it's a corpse. You know, like a dog corpse that someone's dumping in an alleyway somewhere. It's pretty sad. It's a guy, but it's a tainted mindset. They just, uh, you know, they just got to be shown a better way. A lot of people don't listen, though. That's the only problem, you know? A lot of people don't listen. They'll listen when they suffer the consequences of doing stupid shit like this, though, I guess. I mean, but again, this isn't even that bad. It's going to be even more offensive if they try to put grass in there, which people are dumb enough to do. They'll try to do it. There's almost no soil here. It's all limestone. It's the transition of the Chihuahua Desert. Here where the Mesic East transitions to the, the arid west, but some moron's going to be dumb enough to put a lawn in there with an irrigation system. Look at Lake Travis. How low is it right now? It just blows my mind. There's just no appreciation for the native, <laughs> the native place. You got, you got paradise right here, and you think you're going to do a better job building it with the tacky, ugly shit you bring in. You are build a house, sure, but you got to level everything? Look at these dainty little shits, these little DYCs. Always gotta, you always got to check and see what it is because there's like 15 different species and a lot of them look alike. Oh, nice Plantago right there. Right here you got uh, Tetraneris uh, linearifolia. You can see why it got that name. Linear foliage. Look at, how, look at how woolly that is. You can really tell the continent's drying out the further west you go. And also, we're on these thin limestone. So look at that really nice pink flamingo. I need one of those in my yard. You know, holding a chainsaw or some sort of firearm or dildo or something. So you got a nice property. I love just vibing people out by, <laughs> by looking at plants like in the road. Like, what is that guy doing? I'm not wearing a shirt right now either. So, hey, where are you going? Get over here. Look, this is a cool one. Tetragonotheca texana. I know Tetragonotheca rapanda from the Texas sand sheet, which just has basal leaves and gets a little bit taller than this. But Tetragonothecal, let's flip it over and look at the phyleries like we do with all damn yellow composites. That's the only way to diagnose what speed, well, one of the main ways. Easiest way, look at the phyleries. Four phyleries, little squares, little square phyleries, and then those individual florets. You can see they're, uh, they kind of separate halfway up. Each one of those little yellow flowers. Great fucking species. And opposite leaves with no, uh, no petiole right there. You think Texas men think it's okay to look? Is it okay? Yeah, in, in the year 2032, it's going to be okay for males in Texas to not only talk about their feelings and admit that they have them, but also for them to look at flowers, you know? But And then it's slowly going to spread to the, to the eastern seaboard, you know? Alabama, Mississippi, it's going to be okay for men to admit that, you know, they got feelings instead of just having to fucking bottle it up inside, sit on it silently, and then snap one day, you know? Just... <laughs> to end up in the news, you know? Plants keep me out of the news. They keep me from doing things that would surely get me in trouble. 
Anyway, let's keep fucking going. You filled a hole inside yourself with the plants and shit. That's nice. Soothe your ass down. 